Shut up. What's up, guys? Came with LNR rides. I got Trent. Damien's over there. So I got some new tires. Got to get some hubs for them. But as you can tell, they're substantially bigger. We're going from 20 by 10 by 8 to 22 by 11 by 8. So what I'm going to do is get some hubs, put them on the back, put these new tires on the back. And I'm going to take these tires, put them up on the front. Because them little puny tires ain't going to do much good. But we'll hold on to those because those are brand new tires. And we got Michaela's blue cart right there that we might slap them on. I don't quite know what I'm doing with this cart yet. She doesn't want it. She doesn't want to ride them. Trent's scared of it because he flipped it. So I might try to sell that one. I don't know. Finally got, finally got this damn mower going. Hasn't started yet, but it will once I get the gas done. What I ended up doing was replacing this solenoid as well. And it'll turn over. But the actual issue wasn't any of that stuff. See that right there? That washer is what I needed on there to ground out the battery now it'll actually start to turn over but the fuel line won't fit down the hole so I got to go buy some files and I'm gonna file it out as I'm filing it out I'm gonna have the shop vac running so I get the dust instead of it going down in there so that's what we've been doing and I'm not going to be posting a video for probably about another two to three weeks. It'll be probably the 15th of October before I can start recording again because I have to go to a school out of town for work and I won't be back until the 8th of October. I mean, I'll be able to come home on the weekends, but it'll be spent time with the family. So once I do get back, though, that Murray tires are getting swapped out. I'm going to put a set of paddle tires on the big rims. And a set of knobby tires on the front. Then I'm going to slap a 420 on there. I'm not going to do a governor delete or anything like that. Um, because I just I don't have the time to do all that stuff. I just want to get the carts running so we can use them. And then in the dead of winter, we'll, we'll start doing some stuff like that. I'm going to get some washers for the front so I can get the shocks hooked back up. The back shocks, um, I don't even know where the heck the motorcycle shocks are, but I got to grind these tabs off and then space them out some, and then I'm going to re-weld them on. It'll be the first time I've ever done any welding, so hopefully it'll hold. Then we're going to actually, while everything's apart, sand everything down and then primer everything. I bought four cans of primer yesterday. They were $8.99. I got them on sale I think I paid a dollar ninety nine for them at a place called Maxways or Roses Express now. But either way, once we're done with that, we're going to get that motor right there running, clean the carb out. We're gonna get this cart running, and then I will show you guys in a second Trent's cart. All right, so there's Trent's cart and where it's been sitting for I don't know. Better part of nine or ten months now. I got the new brakes, so all we gotta do is slap some brakes on. Probably clean out the carb and the motor, and we'll probably swap out the spark plug and stuff like that. And his cart will get stripped down, and then we'll repaint that as well. There's a few spots on it. I got to kind of tack weld some stuff like that. Yeah, we'll get that hooked down into it. That's the motor that came on it. We'll get it going. So we got the new axle and everything put on like we did last time. We just got to finish it. Take it out, hose it off. Like I said, get rid of all the stickers and stuff like that. And then we're going to repaint it a solid orange color. And I still got those tires. I don't quite know what I'm going to do with those. 
those are the backs of Trent's tires. I got that axle still. And then I've got those two motors that Tecumseh right there came off from the Murray Kilowatt. And then a buddy at work bought a go-kart from another friend of mine. That's the old version of the Predator. Um, the one beforehand, I forget. It's like some sort of wolf or dog name or something like that. I, I forget. But it runs. So I might slap that one on the mini bike. Take that off, those tires off. Put those knobby tires on from the kilowatt that we swapped out in the last video and then run those and make an off-road trike i'm not quite sure yet but that's what we got going on i'll bring you guys back over here in just a second all right so once i get the go-karts done tax return time i'm taking this to a mechanic and i'm just gonna have them fix it i don't i don't have the time to mess with learning a new motor system and I don't even know where to begin to get parts this is either a 99 or a 2001 Polaris 500 sportsman um, I don't even know what year it is my brother got it a long time ago on a trade and then I took it from him for free so we'll get this up and running once the carts are done like I said with tax return I'll spend the 1500 or so because I mean it was free so any money I spend into it as long as it's not an excessive amount, uh, it's, it's a win-win for us. I'm going to use this on the hunting club next year, and then Amber will ride it when we go to Busco Beach. So that's what we've been having going on, guys. Um, like I said, I won't be able to post a video for a while, so this will be the last one for probably three or four weeks. I've got a couple of more clips from that ironclad motorsport place, so I may upload those throughout the week just so I have consistency with YouTube, but uh, it won't be anything of actual work. It'll just be... 15 to 45 second clips. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hit that no notification bell after you hit the subscription button. Hit that thumbs up button and bleep bleep down in the comments. Leave us something. All right, guys, talk to you later.